and white, just such a simple and elegant combination. You can't go wrong with it. I love the way this looks. So we're going to do a little letter pressing in our background today and show you how to cut some frames with just embossing and do a little bit of a floral spray. The dies we'll be using today are the ornate pierced rectangles from our Noble die collection, as well as the classic adorned rectangles. From the Greek Island collection, we'll be using the Keflonia die. And we're going to have a flower spray from the Complete Petal Camellias from an earlier release. We'll also be using the sentiment from the Amazing Sentiments, a clear stamp set. And for the letter pressing, we're going to be using the cross stitch pinpoint embossing folder. I think we'll start with the letter pressing. So I'm going to bring in my folder here and using a clear perfect medium pad, this is a clear embossing ink, I'm going to ink up the folder on the side that I want. So I'm going to pretty much be using just the outer edge of that, so I'm not going to waste time doing the center. Just trying to get that ink evenly distributed all the way around that. That should probably do the trick. We will pop our card in there and run it through the Grand Caliber. So I've got the gray base plate and the raspberry adapter. Okay. Now let me just pop this off of here. Okay. And because you've got the ink on there, even though you can't see it, you might want to just give it a quick wipe down with a wet rag or a grime boss, just to make sure it doesn't stay on your folder. And then give it a nice little dry. That should do the trick. We'll set that to the side. Okay, so now, even though you can't see it, we have our clear embossing ink on there. So what I'm gonna do is dust this with a little bit of Angel Gold Sparkle Mica Powder. Okay, now this is a really subtle, soft color, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So we'll just dust that on, and what happens is that Mica goes into where that ink was, and it's into the floor of this design. So you would not be able to actually do this any other way than to letter press that ink into that. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't that? Just going to dust the outside edge. It's a very subtle tone on tone, but your recipient can definitely see what this will look like up close. It's so beautiful. And once I get it finished, I'll give you a little bit of a peek and maybe I can get it to shimmer in the lights. Okay, that should do the trick there. Let me pop this to the side and just take and dust off the top with a tissue. That'll take away all the extra bit. We'll clean up our craft mat while we're here too a little bit. But you should be able to see that catching in the light and you can see the shimmer. Very, very subtle. So it's not going to overwhelm your card. It's just going to add a beautiful feature to it. So I'll go ahead and put that onto our background. I've pierced around the edge as I do, and I've got a little bit of mounting foam. So I'll get this seated, and then we'll start to move forward with the center of our card. There we go. That looks about even. Really, really nice. So the next thing I want to show you is the frame. So rather than actually cutting a decorative insert with this die, what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss. Now this is probably the only time I recommend not cleaning your dies. When you want to emboss, it is very helpful to leave the die cut pieces in there. And that way, as it goes to emboss into your card, you don't end up cutting into it as deep. And sometimes it can, it can make the card actually um, crack a little bit. This will tend to solve that issue. And if not, if depending on the card you use, you can always put a piece of copy paper on there as well. So I've got one prepared earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you this. 
So to do this, we're going to bring our embossing plate and mat forward. I'm just going to put these in like this at the moment, and we'll run this through. There we go. Now to make a complete frame, I would take this out, move it over to my cutting mat, remove this, and put the two uh, cutting edges around it. I've already got one prepared, so I'm just going to show you this portion. But you can see it just embosses beautifully into that. So it gives you a really pretty look without cutting into the card. So it's something different you can do with your dies, which is nice. So I'll pop that back onto the plate. Move these out of the way. The next step, in fact, I'll show you the, the frame that we've done ahead of time so you can see I've got a completely cut out frame there. The next step is we're going to do the background underneath the frame. So I've used the cutting insert here. And this is from your classic adorned rectangles, and I've just cut it out a white card. And I'm going to add a piece of double-sided sticky to the back of it. Peel that off. Put that there. And get that nice and adhered. There we go. I'm going to use some ice snow in there, and that will just stick to the exposed adhesive. Pop that onto a piece of copy paper and sprinkle that over the top. And just move and work it into all that exposed area in your design. You can burnish it in really nicely and take off the extra bits. There we go. And we'll pop that right back into the container. This larger size of ice snow is really nice to pour back into as well. Gives you a little bit more of a target to hit. Okay, so now I've got a really pretty feature in the center of my frame. I'm gonna go ahead and add some, or take the uh, backing off my mounting foam. And just in case I hit any of that glitter that may still be there stray, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of that. Just helps adhere it a little bit nicer. And we'll pop that right over the center and trim away the excess. That looks pretty good. You can take a little more time, make sure yours is nice and straight. There we go. And grab my scissors and we'll just trim away the extra bit here. Just keep the scissors at an angle underneath that so you don't cut into your frame at all. There we go. So I can go ahead and bring this over and we can seat this right in the middle of our background. Remember I said that that area wasn't going to be uh, covered with mica. And this is why. Right in the middle. So pretty. So you've got a beautiful um, shimmery edge around that. So the next thing I've done is I've gone ahead and used the center of the Keflonia die to make a little mat for my sentiment. So I'm going to put some, um, I take the backing off the mounting foam, put that right into the center of it and add in our phrase, which I've used the You're Amazing, and I've embossed it in gold and used one of the decorative die cuts from that set. Put that right in the middle, and it just fits perfectly in there. And because I thought it needed just a little bit extra, I've gone ahead and made some flowers with the camellia, and all that I've done is I've taken a little bit of a, um, I'll use the back of this, and just form, form my flower a tiny bit. That's as simple as I've done, just something round. You can use the back of a ballpoint pen, a stylus, anything. And we've done two of these, so let me do the other one. There we go. Simple as can be. Doesn't take very long at all. And a little bit of glue between them. And we're going to offset these. Gives you a really pretty little flower. There we go. Adding a pearl to the middle of that is all you need to do. I've done some ahead of time, so I'm going to go ahead and add them to my card. You can use glue or a glue dot, whatever you are comfortable with. I'm going to just try and pop these on with some glue here. And because the camellia set comes in so many different sizes, you can get such a pretty little spray going across there. So I'm just going to grab a couple little different sizes here, and we will add some glue and work them into our design like that. Stay there. If you wanted to 
use the gold ones and mix in. You could easily cut these out of gold. It's, it's really nice to be able to have those choices to do the card the way you like it. And it'll just be so personal to your recipient. A couple more here. There we go. And I like the way it just comes off just the top of the frame going from side to side, but just think that's so cute. We'll use this little guy up on the top. There we go. And maybe one more, just kind of connect that together. There we go. So pretty. So you can finish that off quite easily with a couple of pearls in the center and oh, just so elegant. Don't you just love the way the white and gold looks together? It's so, so pretty. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and come back and visit us soon.